2018 win. Speaking of the UK, let's head on over to, uh, you know, to London where it's usually raining and that's exactly what's <laughs> happening today. This is the 12th straight season of NFL London games, the 26th contest in the NFL uh, in London as well. So for more on the NFC South matchups, we bring in my girl, Tiffany Blackman. What's up, Tiff? Holding it down in the rain. <laughs> I'm doing what I can, MJ. I'm just outside the stadium. And as for Jameis Winston, what we're seeing out of him right now is a quarterback that has gotten increasingly more comfortable in the system each week. And it certainly helps to have a coach like Bruce Arians, known as the quarterback whisperer in his ear, telling him to play fearless. So that three interception performance he had back in week one, well, that's long gone in the review mirror. Since then, Winston has thrown 10 touchdown passes. That's tied for the most in the NFL right now. His passer rating, yards, and completion percentage, they've all improved too. And he does have the best wide receiver duo in the game right now in Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. Godwin, of course, having a breakout season. He is the team's leading receiver. And Evans, well, he has long been their number one guy, but they want to make sure they get the ball in his hands tomorrow, especially after what happened last week when he didn't have a single catch for just the second time in his career. Jameis Winston, he said, bottom line, to win games, we've got to get Mike Evans the ball. That's it. Focus, straight to the point. Tiff, thanks so much. We'll talk to you in just a little bit. And guys, this game features a couple quarterbacks playing really well. Since week two, both Jameis Winston and Kyle Allen are top five in passer ratings. Mm -hmm. All the other guys on that list, you might have heard of them. Wilson, Watson, and Mahomes, all of course, in the oh, MVP Allen. conversation. Mm -hmm. D Hall. What are you going to be watching in this one specifically? I'm going to be watching if this Tampa Bay team can be a little more consistent. And that's the thing for me. They've looked great at times. They've looked pretty bad at times. You think about the week two matchup um, um, with the Panthers earlier. They were able to hold Christian McCaffrey to 37 yards rushing. All right, 50 all-purpose yards. If they can make Kyle Allen sit back and drop back and be a passer and not rely on Christian McCaffrey, Shaq Barrett had three sacks. And mm. so that's the kind of pressure this defense needs to impose, and they need to get turnovers. And so to me, stop Christian McCaffrey, and can this offense be consistently good down in and down well, out? Well, you know in that first game it was a different quarterback. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I know. I know. It's a little different circumstances. Last. We ain't going to go there yet. Yeah, that sprinkle that in. That's going to be a little later. In the show. But I'm going to be watching Christian McCaffrey, right? Mm. Like, what? This guy is one of the MVP candidates of our league. Almost 3,000 yards since 2018. He leagues, He's second in the league in scrimmage yards with almost 1,000 scrimmage yards right now. I mean, can he do any more? I mean, they throw it to him. They hand it off to him. They try to uh, use him down the football field, running routes down, down the field. I mean, th just think about this. And, and I didn't think that he would be this good between the tackles. I mean, he forced 13 missed tackles in just on 25 touches last week. Like, that's crazy, man. Like, Every time he's one on one, one on one with somebody, yeah. they miss like every single time. I think this guy should be the highest paid guy on this team, but I ain't going. You know, that's a whole other <laughs> uh, conversation. That's I'm not going to fight for backs right now. I'm going to let that go a little bit later. But I'm telling you, Christian McCaffrey. We need to continue to talk about him. He's the most valuable player on this on this Carolina Panthers team. Uh, oh, you're just going to gloss over Kyle Allen like I'm that? I'm just saying. I, I, I'm going to gloss over. Yeah, yeah, I am. That's I'm okay. Gloss over. So then I'll make the case for Go ahead. Kyle Allen. Let me hear. Let me hear. Let me hear. And why this matchup might be different than the okay. last time? Because one of the things when you talk to the Panthers folks about what Kyle Allen has done so far is the short memory. You know, you get a young quarterback. Sometimes he'll make some mistakes. Yeah. All of a sudden, it starts to snowball. Not the case with Kyle Allen. And I even go back a couple of games ago when they were facing. And the, uh, the Texans, he had fumbled a couple of times in that game, three times, I think, at that point. And J.J. Watt is bearing down on him right in his grill. <laughs> makes the move. He sheds J.J., makes the throw. Pass is complete. He's pointing to the sky. He's so happy with himself. They're so happy with him. So I, I love that right now for him. And I think that that's the most impressive. The other thing about him is he's been so good on third down for them. Usually I like to wait till later in the show to hit you with the numbers. I know it's early <laughs> no, for no. some math. <laughs> yeah, I'll hit you with the numbers right now because he's top 10 in yards on third down, yards per game on third down, 
pa uh, touchdown passes, his 103.3 rating. So you're making the case for him to stay down. as the starter. Is that what you're saying? We can have Is that, that what you're saying? Because, because I've been saying it for the last two weeks. And, I and you've been looking at me crazy. It's about to be that time. Yes, you have been looking no, at me crazy, Jeezy. Every time I say it, look. Carolina Where's that Panthers, videotape? The Carolina Panthers are going to have to You want to run it back I'm and looking check you, that? I'm looking at you like you crazy. I don't know. I like Kyle Allen, but Cam is Cam. Listen, Bill Sudell, our researcher, is working early in the morning. I can give you the numbers for Give Cam. me the numbers. What's up? Cam Newton on third down this year uh -huh. versus Kyle Allen on third down. Look at that right there. 11 for they 21. They can't see it. You got to say it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go to the rating. 64.2 for Cam, 103.3 for Kyle Allen on third downs this year. Money down, as they say in the NFL. So, he, so you're saying I'm, he stays I, in I the quarterback. I think it's in the conversation, so what you're and saying, I think it's a possibility. He if stays in that quarterback. Win. If they continue to win, yes, I do believe that that is going to be a real thing. I agree with you, don't. Uh, it's not It's not an opinion. I agree I'm with you, don't. It's, it's, it's a thing that they're they – It have, is an opinion. It's listen, not a fact yet. The Jaguars and the Panthers right now. I don't know. He's bringing a lot of numbers. Yeah, that that's true. That's true. That's true. Numbers. <laughs> Jaguars and the Panthers right now are not making any decisions because they don't have to make the decisions right that's now. True. The decision is coming, and if this guy continues to play well and keeps winning, then yes, I do believe it's a very strong possibility. See, He's to me, the Jags and the Panthers are in two totally different situations. You have a quarterback who hasn't has has no equity with your organization and a guy like Nick Foles. And then you got like a, a, a guy in Cam Newton who is, you know, the NFL MVP. I get it. Who's Good done point. so yep. much for that team. And and that's not the same guy. I don't see. You, you're right. He's not the same you're right. guy he as he was. the same guy he was. You're absolutely right. So if he's right. not the same guy, the, the play caller, and, and at least on film, it looks like this offense runs a little bit more efficiently without it uh, revolving around one guy's abilities. You're right. So, ah. You're going People lose their the jobs over this stuff, him. man. And that's what I think ultimately will make that decision oh, easier preach. for that head coach. Do I want my job or do I want to keep that <laughs> happy? I'm we'll talk about that a little later. Though. I don't know. Right. You guys should go in that room and speak your case. And this is so hype. All right. In Panthers, last 13 games, they're undefeated with Cal Allen. Look at the numbers, the numbers back numbers. again. You're making a case. Four and O, oh, and they are winless when any other QB is under center. Wow. That's 0 and 8 with Cam Newton, 0 and 1 with Tyler Heineke. Guys, it's right there. Points, yards, giveaways, all better with I'm Allen running the I offense. Am. I don't blame you. Don't forget you can watch. <laughs>